Hey, welcome to my channel. I'm RJ Deleem from Electronic 101. The STC 1000 is a compact, versatile, and widely used digital temperature controller, commonly employed for heating and cooling applications, particularly in aquariums, greenhouses, and other temperature controlled environments. It's come with a one page manual. The housing is quite good, even it is plastic, but it's a good quality. I make this video to teach you how to program the HSTC 1000 and to show you how it works. First we need to see the terminals. First thing to do is to remove the plastic cover. You have to press that lock both sides and apply a pressure to pull it out. Now, you can see the eight terminals, one and two for power supply, three and four for the sensor, five and six for the heating, and seven and eight is for cooling. The power supply needs 110 to 220 volts AC or alternating current to power on RSTC 1000. Five and six terminal that what we're going to use later for the test. Here, this is the five and six terminal. Don't forget that our supply is 110 to 220 volts AC, unlike other sensors the supply is 12 volts. I draw a diagram to show you what is the connection looks like. The STC 1000 is we are going to connect it in 220 volts AC. The bulb is our load is 220 volts AC also, but we need to cut one line to connect it in terminal 5 and 6, which is the relay or the electronic switch of STC 1000. For the terminals, we need flat screw to loosen and fasten the terminal screw. Okay, we're going to connect the power supply of STC 1000. And then a supply line for our load or for the bulb. And then a power supply plug for easy connection. And then we need to cut one line to connect it in terminal 5 and 6. I use scissor because I don't have a cutter, but don't forget to cut it perfectly because if you cut the other line it can cause short circuit and it can cause damage to STC 1000 and burn the wire. And now, we are going to connect it in terminal 5 and 6. And it's something look like this. These two plugs is we are going to plug it in 220 volts AC socket or extension wire. Now we are going to program the HSTC 1000 for our desired temperature. The room temperature is 29.7. We need to set a temperature to turn off the lamp or load. To do that, hold the S button for 2 to 3 seconds until F1 shows. To set the cutoff temperature, while holding the S or the set button, press arrow up to increase the cutoff temperature or down to decrease. I set F1 34 degrees Celsius for the cutoff. Now, if it hits 34 degree, it's automatically turn off the load. 
Okay, we are going to test it by touching the sensor. Since human normal temperature, 37 degrees Celsius, it rises the temperature reading from 29.7 to 37 degrees. Okay, let's see if it works. Wow, it works at cut off to 30 for degrees Celsius. Remember there are for program slot, but we only set F1, which is the set temperature for cutoff. We need to set for turning it on again. To do that, program the F2. Okay, hold again the S button and change F1 to F2. Still holding the set button increase or decrease the temperature deference in my case, I set it to 0.5 degree. Then we need to test again if the cutoff temperature and auto turn on will work. I will put the sensor in the bulb, so it will rise the temperature, then it off if hits the 30 for degree Celsius, and then it drops the temperature gradually while it is off until 33.5 degree, then turn on again let's see. This is how STC-1000 works. You can use it for egg incubation, greenhouse, or in your home like setting a desired temperature cooling or heating. For egg incubation, set F1 to 37.8 degree and F2 
0.5 degrees Celsius. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Bye-bye.